What is up guys? It is Zach here and um, you guys probably don't know about my cardboard pocket knives that I make so today I'm here to make a video about them and I'm kind of late on making a video about them when I first started them but on my Facebook page the original design is on there um, pretty cool design I made my own design and then I took the knife that I had I got for my birthday recently November 12th I turned 15 um, I got it and I took it apart that's why the blade is a little loose See, look, the blade's a little loose. But um, I took it apart and traced it. See, I'm missing a little piece right there. You can see the glue or whatever. I took it apart. I traced the blade, the handle, and I made my own tem templates or templates, whatever you want to call it, however you pronounce it. Um, made my own little bag out of uh, paper. These are easy to make. You just fold the paper and uh, tape it on the bottom and the side, whichever one's open. Real easy, just look for it on YouTube with tutorial. But um traced the knife and I came out with the handle template. So every time that I make one of these, if I want to make the same kind of the same exact design, or I could switch it up and like in the middle of tracing it, I could have traced it and instead of going around this little loop right here for your index finger to go on, I could just straighten it out if I wanted to. Um while I'm going right here I can make a little design going up. And then, when I, and then when I cut it out, it'll come out like a, like I traced it, or whatever. But um, this goes. This is the actual blade. Um, that I make two of these, and then I make them to a point. So basically, I, I, I tape it on the back after I. This is hard to explain. If you have any questions? Let me know in the comments. I'll be really glad to, help, to ask to answer them. Because I know I'm probably going to get a couple of questions, even though I don't have that much comments. So, pay attention, okay? That's all I got to say. Here is the blade. Fully cut out, okay? Okay. That goes together. That is the blade. Okay, you see how that's separate? Okay. Now, look at this blade right here. See what I'm talking about now? Now, when I put it together, this piece is separate. That way, when I tape it together, I can make it into the out, outer edge right on this side. I can fold it in and make a point. Not fold it in all the way, but just enough so I can make a point on my cardboard pocket knives. So, yeah, that's basically it. And I traced it all the way around. So, it's um, It was traced to have the locking mechanism on it, which, listen to, you'll hear it. That's the locking mechanism. <coughs> Excuse me. See? Now, the one I made, the actual, when I started making the good ones, after I traced after this one, the first one, the first cardboard pocket knife that I made, after I traced it and made all the templates, templates, whatever, um, I put the templates in the bag, I came out with, let's see here, came out with this one right here, uh, I, when it first, it got a little squished on this side, it's a little bent, but uh, other than that, it's all right. Plus, the cardboard I was using wasn't really good quality cardboard, but yeah, whatever. This one has a clip on it. Um, opens. It has a locking mechanism, like I said. But it is cardboard. I was expecting for this to bend, the locking mechanism. And you can see right there it is bent. See right there in the middle? These two, and then the middle right here goes up. It's bent. See, it will work, but I have to... You know, like, it's already hot glued. Um, if you want a tutorial how to make these, I'd be more than happy to make it for you guys. So let me know in the comments. But I am, for a fact, soon going to make a tutorial how to make the phone stand. Now, that's a video I made on yesterday, I believe it was. And uh, that's what I'm recording from now. The same exact white, white one that you saw. Um, if you want to know, there's going to be in that tutorial how to put storage spaces in it and all that. Just go check out the video. Um, my announcement on my new phone stand or something like that. It was yesterday, that's all I know. Um, so, today, I just finished making this before I started the video. I, four minutes, wow, I'm doing good on time. I planned, I just tried a video and it was 11 minutes long. And I just wasted too much time talking about everything. Like I'm doing now. But, um, so this one, it's not as good as quality as that one when it first came out. But it's better quality now because that one's a little old. 
and it's kind of worn but now this one that I just made is a good white quartz looking color <laughs> um, I signed it so if you guys um, I plan out if I turn out selling it or whatever then don't know who made it but I actually made my own logo which um, I mean my plan so when I grow up is to be an engineer or architect or something to make or design stuff. Um, architect is where you design buildings and whatever. Like this house right here, this clubhouse. Oh, this uh, house that used to be a house. Um, somebody designed this. Somebody designed that chair right there. Somebody designed just that glass. Somebody designed me. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, only thing I'm missing, missing on this knife is the clip on the side it's basically supposed to be on the back of that but it's not I'm also missing the peg that uh, I don't I don't really know a lot about knives I'm a gun kind of person I know I know a lot about my guns I'm not gonna brag about it but I'm just saying I don't know a lot about knives right now because I haven't really studied them a lot I just know that um oh, I just noticed something see how this little when you fold in that little point is you can barely see it see right there sticking out this one is sticking out too it just comes to, comes together too well but anyway I don't know what this little peg piece is called it might be like a thumb opener or I'm, just maybe a peg it might be just called a peg I don't know but it helps you um, open it with your thumb you can also just do this flick it out um, so um, the only thing I gotta work on with these uh, cardboard pocket knives is now you see how when I close mine you can't even see the blade barely but this one same exact um, um, side and view and everything see how this one is open see the goal is I, I can do this I can it's gonna be hard because I gotta um before I even because only hot glue I was that was used is when I put the peg in for up here that's the only hot glue I use um, now this one over here I use hot glue you can see a little, see a hot glue already in there um, to make the 3D shape. And I made that right there. And I hot glued the clip on. And yep, that's what I use hot glue for. I use tape to make the actual points. But if you guys want to know how to make a tutorial on this, if you guys want to know how to make one of these, I'll make a tutorial for you. I'd be more than happy to do it if I can, if I have the time. I'll let you know if you suggest a tutorial for these in the comments below. But you know. But anyway, like I was saying, I want to make my knives so where it doesn't go so low when you fold it in. I want to make it where it goes at least, at least that high right there, just like this one. See, those listen to look way more realistic. And by the time I add a clip to it and a little peg, and maybe draw some stuff on it, I don't know. But if I had a computer and a printer, I can print out the same exact knife and get the same exact color. Heck, I might even be able to get a template to make one of these. Um, but you know what? I could just uh, look look up on Google Images for each side of the, each side of this knife, print it out, uh, glue it on the cardboard piece, and do it the same exact way I do these. Um, how how I make these? Okay. How I make these? Okay. Like I said, in the, I showed you the templates. I took it apart. Take any knife you have. Take it apart if you're willing to do that. Um, if you have an old knife that you don't really use anymore, I recommend you use that. Don't use any new knives you have. You have. Did it this one? Um, if you if you know how if you know what you're doing, do it. Take it apart, whatever. But if you don't know what you're doing, like I did, like my blade is a little wiggly, don't do it. But um, I only have about two minutes here, so anyway, let me explain to you real quick how I make these. So you make a template. When you trace them out, you keep them in the back, like I got over there. Basically, if you want to make one of these bags, look up on uh, YouTube how to make a, a bag out of a piece of paper or something like that. Or just, if you already know how to make them, make one. Oh. Um, so, after I did that, I traced the template. I traced the handle template. And I made two sides, as you see here. And then, I make, I trace out the the two sides that I need for the handle, the suit, the, whatever, I don't remember much size I need for the blade but like this one I use thin cardboard it's about oh, it's about um I don't care I know I handle knives it is about four layers of really thin cardboard 
which actually gives it not as heavy as you want it to be which you don't really want it lightweight but i just wanted it this time i just wanted to try something different with that one so then i make everything and then i make a strip that goes on the along the back side of the two handle templates when i cut them out of cardboard or whatever um and then i just hot glue it like this one or just tape it like this one as you see and then i put it all together i make a peg to go through here obviously a hole punch down here it's just a whole process if you want a tutorial let me know um but i'll put it, these knives on facebook all three of them after i get done uploading this video and i'll put an explanation of how i make them and maybe with it um a reminder to you guys to suggest a tutorial how to make these so go check out my facebook and i'll see you guys later peace out